In most cases, 20 grams of protein is going to be enough to activate protein synthesis, but optimal protein ingestion is going to be based on activity level and body weight. People used to think that high amounts of carbohydrates needed to be taken in with the protein in order to activate protein synthesis, but we now know that's not the case. One way to optimize protein intake is to try to shoot for about 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal with meals spread throughout the day. A more personalized approach for somebody who exercises would be about 0.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per meal. Uh, so this would equate to about 1.4 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight a day. So if you've got somebody that weighs 150 pounds, this is gonna to equate to about around 20 grams of protein per meal and 102 grams of protein each day. Another strategy is to have a high protein snack before bed. And so that's gonna activate protein synthesis while you sleep. Most breakfasts are typically low in protein. So another strategy is to swap out your high carb breakfast for a high protein breakfast, like Greek yogurt, mixed nuts, and berries, something like that. Another strategy you could do is start incorporating protein supplementation, like protein shakes. And it's really important to make sure that you have some type of protein meal right after you exercise. Dairy sources like milk, cheese, and Greek yogurt, these are all really good for muscle building. And what's really interesting about eggs is that a whole egg is going to be better for muscle building than eating the egg white. It's not fully understood why this is the case because there's so many factors it's to go into muscle synthesis, so it's really difficult to tease out all those factors. Getting enough protein isn't just important for trying to build muscle mass, but it's also important for reconditioning and repairing that muscle after exercise, whether it's cardio or strength training. Thanks for watching.